I'm going to base camp of Everest. So I wanted a challenge that was both physically and mentally demanding. I'm also doing it for Scope, a charity which help children with cerebral palsy and their families. And the reason I chose that is because my niece has got cerebral palsy and she's six. And I've so far raised, um, I think about 1,400 pounds. Been doing loads of training uh, for the last six months. I'm doing British military fitness twice a week and I started rowing, which is absolutely awesome, love it. So training six days a week. This challenge that I'm doing, I, I've come out the other end, or I will have done with an added activity, which I love. I think the trek itself, it's an 18 day excursion. We trek, I think, for seven to ten hours each day. There's going to be lots of different terrains. There's going to be, I think, lots of scrambling, so on your hands and knees going up. And then we'll get to base camp eventually, which is about uh, five and a half thousand metres. There's going to be snow and it's going to be around minus 20 at night. We sleep in tea houses, which are basically wooden huts, no electricity, just an open fire, but they get seriously cold. We have to take any liquids with us to bed because otherwise they freeze. Mm -hmm. And we just lie on basically a wooden uh, platform. And I'm sharing with my best friend who I'm going with, Anne. Now it's less than two weeks away. I'm so excited, really nervous as well, as is my mum, she can't sleep. Um, but it's gonna be an awesome experience. A couple of fears that I have of going to base camp is one, flying into Luckler airport because it's the world's most dangerous airport and I absolutely hate flying and second is the altitude sickness because you, you just can't train for it. You can suffer with severe headaches, sickness, you go off your food, really bad um, sleeping patterns. It can go from altitude sickness to um, it's basically fluid on the brain. I'll come out thinking probably differently to what I think now. I probably will cry when I get to base camp. Just because it's kind of like, you know, you've kind of made it. Tips I'd give to other people who are going to trek to base camp of Everest. Um, you have to be dedicated to the training because there is a lot of training. You have to be motivated, um, physically fit. And I also think you have to be quite like mentally strong. Also, definitely do it for a charity because I think that's really you know, spurs you on, especially when I'm feeling like I can't trek anymore because I'm, at, you know, so tired. I'll just be thinking of safety.